Welcome to my tattoo shop. Come on in. That is so embarrassing. We wear the same shirt. <laughs> you guys stupid. <laughs> so we find ourselves today at True Craft Tattoo in downtown Roanoke, run by the one and only Jason Setchell and his team and beautiful wife. And uh, we are here because we're, I think we're, we've nailed down all the details about this cool uh, metal room divider that Jason wants us to build for him to put right here on top of this knee wall. But part of the payment will be in cash and part of the payment will be in tattoos for three of us. <laughs> Spike does not want a tattoo yet. He's not ready. Don't give me the sad look. Be proud. Yeah. You're better than everyone. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> Aaron has many. I have like five or six. I have like four. Walker's got several. But Jason is, uh, and his team are truly some of the best tattooers in Roanoke, they in are. my opinion. Especially when you think about... Jason's a good uh, I've got most of my tattoos from Jason. I traveled long and far. Yeah. 77 brings out the room buyer to about here. Yeah. I think I did that spike because the wall. Right. You know, yeah, I mean, have structure. Just a little bit of a lip when I'm good with that. Um, so I'd like if we came to here, it would look really weird, especially with this right there. Yeah. Wise. Well, maybe we come to so here. If, I would say if you could at least bring it to about the same as the wall right, right. To there, um, that would be a little bit more like visually pleasing to me personally. Okay. I'm going to do seven and seven and three quarters. So what I want to get uh, is I uh -huh. want to fill in this very badly done. Uh, aperture blade situation. I want to have an image that's spread across this that fits in these blades. Like on the inside of it? Yeah, like yeah. like like if this is win window panes and you're looking through it yeah. at something. It has something inside of it. That's do you love that or hate that? No, it works. Great. I love geometric stuff. Do you do any like... Yeah. God yeah. 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 Okay. I was going to do something like geometric pattern in there. Yeah. You keep it in black and gray. Okay. I don't think you should do color if you do it that way. Yeah. Take away from like that look to it. It almost gives more like a, a, a tribal feel. Not tribal, but like just that look to it. Uh -huh. Primitive look, I guess we say. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give yes. you good ideas. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, if I was you. Yeah. I pretty much do it. I came into the industry <laughs> and like, have a specialty. Like yeah. I learned tattooing to learn how to tattoo. And then everything else you learn to develop over time. Um, for certain things that I'm not as good at, I recommend people to go to a certain artist that way. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, I could, I'm an all around artist. Um, I just like, like do things that hold really me. good. Yeah. I, it's, I'm not trying to blow smoke. Like, he's so. But if I can't do it, I'll tell you too. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I you do it. And you come yeah. in and I'm just, you know, give me dog shit for a tattoo. It's well, like one of those things I'm like, no, I'll do it right away for it. When I get a tattoo, I really want either pointillism or some geometric mandala. And yeah. You just pull yeah. that out. And, uh, Absolutely. I can even show you certain artists to look at to give you influences and things like that. Yeah. But if like, you get people like this, like, uh, I think this is Thomas Hooper. <laughs> yeah. This dude. Rips. Thomas Hooper? Yeah. yeah that's that's literally his name. Is it really? <laughs> this dude's a ripper. Like, he's f***ing so good. Because I was moving no, out of my head. But he does a bunch of, like, really cool, like, patterns and things like that that come off his tattoos. That's what Walker you know and I were talking mean? about. Yeah. About, so, like, drawing these. And yeah, I see them as they're tattoos fun. and they're so nice. It's something about it. It's almost therapeutic. Yeah. yeah. So I do get it. So, pretty much, I have, it kind of goes through here, like, the 2nd of April. Mm -hmm. um, then I got... Two appointments here on the 10th. I got one at 10, I got one at 12. I could do. Um, sleep. That's my birthday. Is it really? Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. Nah, pal, you guys got. How many come at 10? <laughs> you guys? I mean, I, I'm flexible. Yeah, I'm flexible. Tell it for, I'll, take that, you tell I'll take that first one you pointed out. The second? You two want to do the, that double header? Sure. That, that he had. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just yours. I have tattoos that say things. I just want one that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something new. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do one that's like a cut out like an old stencil. Yo, nice. And then yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. That way. Oh, that'd be neat. All right, my next one I have is April the 10th. I could do 10 in the morning. I could do 12. So after giving Jason some ideas on tattoos we'd like. The three of us at least, Spike not included. We got our appointment set up. I'm headed back to the shop to prepare to build this awesome room divider. Oh yeah, and check out Aaron's new little car thing that you can control the audio volume with your finger and skip songs and all that weird stuff. 
to catch us up to speed, we went to Jason's place a while ago. So. We did. It's been a minute. Um, we're making a really cool uh, kind of room divider, visual separator kind of situation. Kind of a Japanese rising sun vibe to it. <clears throat> and we are making it out of some steel we just got in last week, I think. I don't know. Time is mushy yeah. right now. Um, so first things first, I'm going to start with, actually I think Spike has the printout right now, but I would show it otherwise. Basically, you have a big square, rectangle, circle in the middle with some rays coming out of it. So I'm gonna start with the circle sun, if you will. Um, we've got some one inch by half inch uh, tubing here that we're gonna use for that. And so I am going to, we want like about a 16 inch um, inner diameter on that. Um, so phone says quick calculation on the circumference of that is gonna be around 50 and a half inches. So I'm gonna go and just cut off about 56 inches just so I have some breathing room on either end of the roller. And I'm gonna roll a circle and we're gonna start from there. So once I have a circle that I'm happy with, I'm gonna weld that and make that kind of a finished item and then make a frame around it and then lay out the rays and go from there. So first things first, let's make a circle. This is great. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. um, just going well. Uh, the most time consuming part has been taking this bender apart. We don't have the exact right bender for the job on this, but um, we're making it work. And basically, we have this ring bender, went around once, got it, it was overlapped, cut it, couldn't get it apart, took the whole thing apart to get it out, <clears throat> tacked it together, put it back in, realized I put the thing apart, in, in there's one piece that is. Uh, there needs to be a correct orientation. It looks like it'd go either way, but it's just a slight variant. So take it back apart, flip it, put it back together, <laughs> send it through, and I got it really, really close, and then I got a little bit greedy. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just like, you know, I even had that moment of like, oh, you're probably done here. And I was like, let me just, one more time. And the one more time, it popped the, uh, the tack that I had on there. So I pulled it back out. Um, well, no, I welded it on there uh, correctly and sent it through again and got it pretty much there and then used the fixture table to spread it out, finish the welding. And now I'm just um, finishing up the seam, trying to make it invisible, but we're pretty much there. Okay. Yeah, almost, uh, almost got a circle. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Woo! Yay! Don't you love having the right tool? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty circle. It's, I mean, uh, that's... I gotta pull out that little bit, but some of that's just the visual. Yeah, so that looks... Out. And it's it's pretty much there. Um, uh, that's... 16 inches. It's 15 and 3 quarters, if we're honest, inside to inside. Um, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's not critical. Nope. So. As long as you're okay with your tattoo being know, slightly good. crooked. <laughs> yeah. Only seems fair. Yeah. Only seems fair. <laughs> Where did you end up yesterday? I made a circle. Okay. Um, it's mostly a circle. I, I, it's circle enough. It is very circular. round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I'm going to make a frame. I'm going to make a rectangle. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm going to start with cutting a bunch of 45s out of my, my least, I don't want to say my least favorite tubing, but man, this stuff has just got the really unpleasant. <laughs> this is like, oh, cool. You want all of this on here? Yeah. 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 So. Oh, some fun with acetone. Take that, my liver. <laughs> is that what? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think That's... it messes up all of Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's no point. It's out pretty universal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to cut some 45s and um, make a couple frames, put my circle in there, and then make some sun rays. All right. Probably this afternoon. So, yay! Step one is cutting. Yeah. Your mouth full of citrus. Why don't you tell me what you've been doing? <laughs> Eating lunch. Okay. Um, got the frame. 
cut out. Now, I'm gonna think through. I need to talk to our video guy mm-hmm. and see if he's getting footage of the site visit that we did. I do. Oh, great. Because I want to look at how, what the surfaces are. I believe it's all painted wood, mm-hmm. but I should have paid a little bit more attention on that. I think I can confirm. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, uh, but, damn. Damn. Oh. Back to your office. <laughs> but drilling holes so we can uh, affix the frames to the partitions. What are we calling mm-hmm. those? Stanchions? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that. Um, and I'm getting ready to uh, send it. Send so, it. Yeah, so make my my fr- my rectangle frames complete. All right. And then it's just filling them in. Mom, nom, 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 nom. So now you're moving on to the mainframe. Moving on to the mainframe. I'm really, I, I want to blast this circle because I want to make sure it's as circular as it needs to be, but I think it is. But well, I, what I've been, do for that? Well, just to get it all uniform, because okay. right now having like the mill scale off of this region, um, throwing you off. it just visually it kind of makes my, high, my eye hard to, and yeah. words are hard today. Makes it hard <laughs> to read for my eye. Yeah, please. <laughs> No, but I'll make you something in exchange. But uh, I want to get these rays in here, and there's probably going to be a little bit of pulling with the uh, um, tacking to these rays, anyways. So. Sure. But let's start with the middle one. Let's go from there. And this is going to be raised a little bit. Nope, I'm going to have it offset. Look, <laughs> <laughs> man. Sometimes, uh, it, you, put, sometimes you need to ask questions. I'm going to put this one on the outside too. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying that you would have done that. However, <laughs> you asked the question just to make sure. Fair, fair. Because he's not sure that you would. <laughs> let's let's okay. read between the lines here. I'll, I'll be honest, that came from a teaching point uh-huh. where it's like, I Interesting know. Interesting decision you made there. Yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what I explained to you. And then I come back with here, it's like that. <sighs> All right, well. I did specifically say this. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'll, I'll get that centered in there. I need a half inch spacer. Cool. Uh, no, quarter inch spacer. <laughs> I, I apologize. That, <laughs> that did come off as like, uh, the, those, what the fuck you're doing? Well, and just so my dumb brain never forgets, I did do a center line all the way around, so all the attachment points will. Gotcha. I, I get to visually. Good job. I would have liked teaching you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to remove the beautiful circle that Aaron made because TIG welding it uh, introduced too much heat into the part and forced some of the metal uh, pipe tubing. I'm not a welder. This is Walker uh, to warp. Uh, So we had to cut it out and then Spike ever so graciously recut that same size circle uh, out of half inch uh, sheet on the plasma cutter 
cut out two of them and then welded them together to create a more solid circle so that no warping would happen. All right, Aaron is out of town now. He's gone to the beach to get some vacation time in. And it's almost done here on the, the uh, room divider panel for Truecraft Tattoo. So we actually had to remake the circle. We made two rings, welded them together, and he ground them all down in uh, what was a very laborious feat. Uh, but he's fit it to the panel and it's ready to go. So I am gonna weld everything up and get this thing finished. And hopefully we can take it to the powder coaters either, probably not today, tomorrow morning, uh, and pick up some railings while we're there. But that panel's good enough. Uh, it's got a tiny, tiny bow in the top, but you can't really tell. And um, that's just a function of there's less metal inside that thing. So, I'm gonna make some spacers and get to work. Hell yeah. Let's finish this thing up. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> This MIG welder we got from HGP has been really nice. Uh, settings are super controllable, so I've been able to lay, as far as MIG welds are concerned, I've been able to keep them as minimal as possible. You know, you, these moments here where you have a lot of them coming together in one mm -hmm. spot, tends to get a little globby, but you know, I tried to, tried to keep it individual instead of just one big in there. Mm -hmm. But man, when you step back, yeah. you picture this thing with some uh, matte black powder coat on it. Dude. And more importantly, <laughs> it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, plus or minus an eighth or sixteenth, but that is better than the half inch we had before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how much of that did we cover or shoot? The issues we had? It's, it's in there in a time lapse. All right, well, maybe bolstered with a voice uh, yeah. over. But with something like this, it, it, you got to prepare for the pull. Welding pulls, you know, when the weld metal cools, it, it contracts. And it, ask any fabricator of uh, dealing with the, the pull, the warp from the act of welding is a very complicated problem to solve sometimes. In this case, the original ring we made, which I'm sure Aaron chopped up into a bajillion pieces and threw away because it hurt him so bad. <laughs> it was made of one, one inch by half inch hollow steel tubing, which warped because of all this heat and it deformed. By the time he had TIG welded everything in the middle, it was no longer a circle, it was an oval. It actually pulled out this way and it shrank in this way causing a bow on this top rail, which when he clamped it to that table was immediately apparent. Um, and this is not his fault, by the way. It's, it's been a tough week around here for all of us. So it's just stuff like that can go unnoticed until it's too late. So we had to cut this out and then make a new ring, which I've already told you about. This thing is solid now, this ring is one by half solid steel made in two layers on our plasma cutter and welded and ground together. You know what's cool about this is that now it's got this like cool handmade deal. And yeah. It's going to True Craft Tattoo, which is all like some of the most OG tattooers in Roanoke, especially Jason Satchel. And it's a hand done craft. I feel like obviously everything we do is handmade, but in this style with this look, it's obviously meant to be reminiscent of the Japanese rising sun flag and then continue into the second panel over there. Um, the holes, by the way, you see these big holes on the other side are smaller holes. So what we'll do is run a screw through there and then we have these half inch caps, plastic caps that will plug these holes. So it'll be a nice, super clean install, screwing straight into the wood. Hell yeah. So we're done. I'm gonna get this off the bench. You can watch me do that. And How heavy is this thing? Uh, let's see. Oh. 
I would say this panel is every bit of uh, 75 pounds. 800? Yeah, nah, maybe not quite 100 pounds. But damn close. <laughs> and it's built like a prison door. <laughs> Up here. Tomorrow we go to CNC Fabricators and see if they have any of that Tuscan black mm. left over from the handrails. Mm -hmm. Nice matte black finish. And then we deliver to Jason and get some tattoos. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting tattooed next week in real time, so we'll see the tattoos before we finish. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gotcha. Gotcha, Jason. In fairness, he hasn't paid the deposit still, yeah, so whatever. So, uh, whatever. <laughs> but there you go, out the door. Get out of here. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow at CNC Fabricators. Boop. I got a haircut. Looks nice. Thanks. Off to see a man about a horse. I mean powder coat. <laughs>
Do you like it? Yeah. That's that, <laughs> that's half the, uh, the my favorite part. It's so good. It re it really pops it does. too. Yeah. That's why I was like, I don't because I feel like we lost everything. Like, if I put more shit in there. But yeah, once the red goes away too, yeah, the start. You can see it like even with like the bottom half, like you can start seeing it coming through the radiation. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Up here is still pretty red. As it settles in for the day, you'll see a little bit more. Yeah, like right here is a good example. Yeah. Or the, so the, the red, the stark away. black. And yeah. The, and the, my pasty white skin. Nice. <laughs> it works really well. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Killed it, man. Really good with that. Nice work. So my wife's like, I forgot to make that stencil. No, and well, like, here's the original, right? So, dude, nailed it. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. translates perfectly. And then just put it into those frames. Just the good news about filling in this is that you didn't have to do all of it. <laughs> I've been like, hey, I had no, I just been like, hey, we're gonna make a couple appointments for you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make one for the long one, yeah. one for the black, and one for them just tired as well. That's so <laughs> sick, man. That's so cool. Dude, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that thing all healed up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I won't get anything from it yet until it's healed. So I want to see everything sets too. Well, it once that if I need to come starts. in, if it needs to come in a little heavier, then that's a free touch up. I just mm -hmm. have to come in and we'll do all like yeah, add over top of it and make it a little bit more dense. If I rather go light than I would dark. If I go too dark, you can never go back. Mm -hmm. You're light enough, it allows you to come back into it if you need to. That makes a lot of sense. And we want to retain as much of that contrast yeah, pop. Yeah, because you need that. Yeah. Because you absolutely need that because that's what makes the whole thing itself. Yeah. Looks like an illusion. Dude, it does give off that 3D effect mm -hmm. really nicely. Yeah, this is the first of many geometric tattoos. I think That's the thing too, because if we wind up, say if, we, um, if I went too dark or we shaded in the, the outer parts where it's your skin tone, mm -hmm. and we do a piece, well, you need contrast to it. So if your background is really heavy, and then your foreground, you can start losing certain parts of it because all of it starts to kind of mute itself out. So now if there becomes a background that weaves in behind mm -hmm. it, it's yep. enough of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it makes it work really well. All right. <laughs> Standard affair. Say goodnight, Jane. Well, 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 a true professional. <coughs> wow, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Well, how does your arm feel? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> oh, did you need a kiss? It hurts. My <laughs> arm hurts. Oh, no. No, it's, it's such a relief when it's over. Yeah. <laughs> It's a pretty, that's a pretty stereotypical pain arc for me. Yeah. It, it hurts initially and then like an hour in it kind of goes numb and then the end it just all gets all, you know it's like, you know when you, you're on the road and you have to pee real bad mm -hmm. and like you hold it, hold it, hold it, but as soon as you know you're about to get home, your body's like, oh fuck, I don't, I, I can't hold I it can't anymore. I can't hold it anymore. And so then you really have to pee. That's mm -hmm. kind of what it is. At the very end, when I know he's almost done, it's like when it hurts the most. Because like, all I'm thinking is like, please be over, please, yeah, be, please over. be done, please be done. It honestly wasn't that bad. That's a good spot to get tattooed. Yeah. There's a lot of meat up there, mm -hmm. but still, I mean, you're getting stabbed a bajillion times. Well, that and there was some very dark, dark yeah, shit. Dude, the black work was so dark. <laughs> I'm so happy though. Dude, it, it is. It's what it, it's my new favorite tattoo. Yeah, it is leagues above what it was. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. I'll never go anywhere else in Roanoke, probably. Yeah, you same. Know, unless there's some kind of special circumstance, but like. I want it, it's permanent art. Mm -hmm. I want it to be as good as it can be. Mm -hmm. The people that cheap out on tattoos, it's just like, why? It's gonna be on your body forever. Exactly. You wanna be reminded that you were cheap for the rest <laughs> of your life? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, cut to picking up uh, oh, yeah. Jason's piece from powder and Aaron getting tattooed because he's first. It's Aaron's first? Yeah. All he's, right. He's at 10 a.m. Are you the same day? Yep, at noon. Okay. Yeah. I'm really strong now, so yeah. it's hard to tell. Well, hey, it's been going to the gym. Look how look good he looks. I've been skipping the last week. <laughs> well, he's also been sick. Yeah, and lazy. We're bartering. Yeah. We're bartering metal work for tattoo work. Yeah. So they've already seen Tag. This was, this was secret you ruined it. You ruined it. Sorry. So we've already seen Tag get his. Yes. Then. Yes. I'm getting mine now, and then you are getting yours. 
Um, and then simultaneously... This feels like so guilt-ridden for me, because it's like I'm getting a tattoo and then my boss is doing work around me. <laughs> I'm going on break. <laughs> yeah. I definitely want to think about it. Definitely don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I mean, built a lot of the things, so, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, edit. <laughs> well, you built something special. I did. I'm excited to uh, to show that to, to Jason, see what yeah. he thinks, but yeah. I'm gonna get uh, get inky with it. I think I'm up first. Yes. And uh, with the pre-tattoo jitters, which you think I wouldn't have at this point, because I has many. Um, but yeah, let's do it. All right. Still. Yeah, I wouldn't get one unless I was like for sure ready. And even then, I'll be like, oh! you know, like marriage. No, I get it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. So security is gonna get disarmed for a little bit, maybe. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, we'll see. I'm probably just gonna swag it over and we'll install it and then maybe find a new place to hang it, maybe up here or something like that. Oh, dang. What up, Superman? <laughs> Are you telling me if I work out, stop drinking, and eat well, I can look good too? <laughs> I know, right? Um, let me do a couple sizes because right now you're kind of doing more like a patchwork. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if I do it too big, it's gonna start becoming more like a. When you start adding more, you right, know, right, right, more right. dominant than yeah, anything else. No, I'm, I, I don't, don't, don't hate that size. Yep. Uh -huh -huh. Gotta love a good keyhole system. What I don't have is white paint. Okay. So the best I can offer is we'll mount it and then we can put some painter's tape on it and then at some point we can just come back with some white just to fix that spot. So my big thing is I've been teaching my kids going to trade. Yeah. Going to fucking trade, man. At this point right now with college and everything, I, it's, it's fruitful, but trades are becoming more fruitful in life. You heard it here first. Well, it's very true. <laughs> it is very true. We've been preaching that on this channel for a while. Maybe. Statement piece for it's you guys. Yeah. yeah, that's all I was looking for. Dude, thank you so much. Man. No, thanks for the for a while. Thanks for the design input. That helped a lot. So good. It's just different. Oh, is it Aaron's turn? Let's do it, baby. Aaron, good luck. I hear they hurt a little bit. He's actually in a good spot. Here sucks. Here sucks. Down there is usually easier. Great. <laughs> That's smooth, you just kind of breathed into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy because you're looking at it in the mirror and it's... You can't believe I think spot on in first shot. Holy fuck. Here, hold on. Say that again. <laughs> so fucking cool. <laughs> man, Well, I appreciate the business and the trade-outs. Yeah, man. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, me and my guy. Mm-hmm. Wish I gave you some doctor glasses. <laughs> hey, you should have eclipse glasses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, should have kept those. I must have my hands in that chair. Ah, there you go. You're smart. Chilling. Perfect placement too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, actually, while you're getting changed, Aaron's gonna get a little something. Here's the special part. 
And he's gonna be like, thanks. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we got one more piece for you. Holy shit, you got a your head. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. I was so done. It was so loud. Oh my god, I got some chats. Thank you so much. Full sail, Jerry. Dude. Leather in there. Yeah. Smell terrible. That's so cool. In truth, my, my in truth this was all Aaron's handiwork, so. But it's fine because as you move around, it's got cool like, cross sections. No, dude, this thing's so cool, though. Holy Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah man. Absolutely, man. I was I was really stoked to make it. I fuck a lot of I think I owe you guys so much more than no, 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 sure, I'm sure. like, hey. No, this was a gift. No, this is It's a fing great gift though. Yeah. It's a fing great gift. Yeah. Holy and then that, si yeah, signed and dated it on the there. You did this by hand, didn't you? Mm -hmm. oh, shit. I'm super smitten of this thing, man. Like, I really am. Awesome! Yeah. Yay, making <laughs> stuff. Making tattoos and making tables. Yeah. Here, I mean, man. You, you <laughs> sh yeah. No s***, dude. Yeah, I don't know if you measure the height at all, but it actually yeah. works. <laughs> it's like right at 24 and 12, and it was all kind of by accident. <laughs> yeah, that actually, with the table, kind of lines up nice. My uh, happy little accident. <laughs> All right, well, I, this one feels really good. It was a great install. It fit perfectly. Jason's over the moon. Uh, we've all, three of the four of us now, will have work done by Jason. And he's one of the best in the area, if not the best in the area. So right. yeah. he appreciates our super high-end work and we appreciate his super high-end work. So it's been a great, this is this, this is as good as installs and builds go. So mm -hmm. if you're in Roanoke, Virginia, you gotta come to Truecraft Tattoo. He's the best. And if you need metal work, come to Lift Dark Studios. We're the best. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We love you. Subscribe, like, follow Truecraft on, on Instagram. Follow us, of course, on YouTube and Instagram. And there will be beauty photos posted on our Instagram and Facebook soon. So give us a follow. Hell yeah. Love you. Bye. Bye.